Our sixth trend and our third marketplace is Shein. So over the last year, Shein has been rolling out its own marketplace, selling third-party products alongside its own items. The Chinese retailer has shown an ongoing willingness to disregard IP of other fashion brands. And I think the launch of its online marketplace is set to make things, I think, worse still for legitimate brands. Uh, Alexis, what's your take on Shein? Um, Shein has been growing in popularity as well, especially since their, their launch of the, the third party marketplace that has um, brought brand protection more into the spotlight with Shein as well. Um, definitely for our for our customers and um, of course Shein partners with influencers as well to promote their platform. Um, also, I think, you know, Shein is it's might it's more difficult to enforce at times on Shein, um, but we have actually you know had success cases with DMCA complaints uh, to um, at least remove traffic to the the listings. Yeah, and Alexis, as you mentioned, Shein has an IP infringement reporting route, but what we've been seeing and noticing is that in some cases contacting directly the infringing sellers is much more effective um, to yield a fast removal of the infringement. So I definitely would recommend that approach as well. I think if I am to add to that, you know, one, one thing that's like interesting about the general trend of, um, you know, brand or online brands um, launching their own third party marketplaces, it's relying on this um, idea that you know, we've established a name and so you can sell under this name with certainty that this is, you know, a quote unquote authentic product. And so, you know, using, using that, um, mindset is, is interesting, um, because it's trying to essentially establish credibility of a seller, um, and maybe even conceal the fact that this be, might be a third party seller, uh, to, to the consumers, which, which is a great guise, uh, for counterfeiters and other kinds of infringement. Yeah. I, I think the latest lawsuit we saw towards Shein, I think it was right at the end of last year. I think it was the Uniqlo one. Um, and there have been other ones, um, yeah, it was my list. Um, yeah, from Doc Martin's owner, from Levi's, from Decker's who make Uggs, Ralph Lauren, uh, and a bunch of others. So, yeah, brands certainly need to take care of their own IP on the Shein platform as it gains popularity over the next year.